So I was teaching psychic development to an advanced student, Sarah, in private lessons. She took 10 lessons over 10 weeks, one hour each. And uh, we'd covered things like prediction tools, psychic cleansing, psychic protection, and we looked at uh, personal reading styles. And in this lesson, we were looking at the macro view. So in particular, we were looking at different cities around the world. And we had eight pieces of paper on our laps, uh, each containing the name of a city and a photograph uh, as a reference for, the, for that city. And what we're going to do is a simple process. We'd spend five minutes sensing what we could from the photograph. Then we'd write down some notes for five minutes and then we'd uh, spend five minutes discussing what we'd seen. And we did, I didn't expect it would be the same. We're different people. Different people will see different things about different cities, you know. We were looking for things like uh, change in skyline, um, any festivals, any events, any, any uh, celebrations, any specific things, you know. And um, my plan was to store the notes for uh, 12 months and then come back to Sarah after 12 months and say, look, uh, uh, let's go through these things one by one. What did you, what did you, what did you see for this? Um, did we get this right? Did we get that right? So we'd looked at London, we'd looked at Berlin, we'd looked at Moscow. We were warming up. We we're getting uh, quite good with the whole process and that such. We thought we were in injury. And then we got to um, Paris and then the wheels fell off. So for Paris, um, what I sent straight away was I could see, actually, because uh, I'm clair uh, clairvoyant, so I see images, um, I could see police on the streets with Uzis in their hands. Now, when police are armed with submachine guns on the streets of Paris, you know something bad has gone on, you know? And I couldn't see why. Um, it was just, I was a bit in shock, you know? And um, afterwards we discussed it. She'd seen something similar, but a different perspective. She said she saw some people fleeing past a building that had smoke pouring out of windows. So she couldn't tell if they exited that building or they're just in the vicinity and were fleeing to safety. And we both thought, oh, this is not good. This is not what we expected. You know, so we decided then for the rest of the lesson not to focus on any more cities um, and instead just to meditate, just to settle ourselves down. And she was a bit uncentered when she left. She actually took her notes with her that day. So I ended up adding to my notes what she told me. And um, I thought, well, we'll know in the next 12 months, whatever this is, I, I don't want it to happen, but we don't have any control of it. We're just witnesses. Next morning, that was a Friday lesson, Saturday morning uh, in Sydney. Um, I wake to the news of the Paris bombing right across the internet. So we didn't have to wait 12 months, we had to wait 12 hours. And I was absolutely shocked. So I texted her and said, look, you gotta, gotta get online, have a look, um, just see what the news is. And then she phoned me and we said, whoa, this is just, this is a pretty scary thing. Uh, so for the next lesson, we decided, let's not focus on the macro. Let's instead focus on micro because with micro, it's individual people. And you're saying, I see a baby, I see a wedding, I see a holiday in France, I see, you're seeing all these lovely things. Uh, there'll be some downsides. There might be uh, um, an ending of a situation, a loss of a job, that sort of thing. But it's not affecting thousands of people. It's just affecting one person. And that's just a bit easier to take.